Howdy pards, Mr. Holster here. Look what we got today. Bet you haven't seen one of these in a while. <laughs> it's a Walther G22. It's Walther's 22 long rifle bullpup. If you remember this, it was out a decade ago or so. And was kind of a hot item and popular for a while. Until people got it dirty and had to clean it. <laughs> it's not what I would call... Well, let's put it this way. I would call this the worst gun I've ever cleaned in my life. Maybe that's the way to put it. It's a it's a royal pain in the rear end to disassemble, clean, and reassemble. And what we try to do is ignore the fact it's dirty and just keep shooting until it stops. Which, yeah, this is the truth. Let's look at some of the features on this thing. First off, we'll start with the rear of the stock here, the butt pad, and notice all these panels. And what it does is it gives you a length of pull adjustment. You just pop the panels out and you can shorten it down to the point where just the rubber pad's on the stock. That's number one of their ingenuity on this firearm. Number two is, and I kind of like this part, is the safety here. You have the safety that can be activated by your trigger finger, and of course that's not my trigger finger so I'm having problems. Your trigger finger here, and when you take the safety off, it pull you push this button backwards and these red indicators come up to let you know the safety's off. And actually it's kind of a nice little safety. That I actually like. It's got uh, being a bullpup, you've got your magazines back here, and this button here is the magazine eject. And you see the bottom of the magazines are part of the stock, which is good and bad. The bad part is the G G22, the magazines are very expensive and hard to get at this point. And you can use P22 magazines will work. It's the same magazine except for the butt pad. You have to grind the butt pad on the G20 on the P22 down to make it fit in this hole. And then of course it doesn't look right because you've got this little squared round down butt pad. But you can do it. I've done it. And so for some spare magazines, it does have a spare magazine right here in the stock, which is just pops out so it carries a spare within its stock which is kind of a neat idea I would have preferred they not did that and gave them a little more space to re-engineer the mess in here but you know what do I know <laughs> if you saw my my video uh, my ranting video of 58 minutes or whatever it was on the CCP I bought which was it wasn't ranting I was laughing at the difficulty I was having taking it apart and the fact that I'm too lazy for a gun like that. I, I, I'm honest about this, you know. If the gun's hard to take apart, I'll never clean it. And I'm not going to keep the gun if I'm not going to clean it. That just, you know. It wasn't that hard to take apart. It just, I don't even, I just, I, I'm spoiled by Glocks, you know. Glocks are easy to take apart. Brett and I, too, easy to take apart. Uh, 1911, I. that's easy to take apart. But that little tool on that CCP and pushing it in the back and the like the fourth time I did it or something the tool went flying out of my hand along with a little spring and the little thing inside apparently I got it unlocked and it went flying out and it took it took my stepson and I about 45 minutes to find, to find the piece that went flying out across the room and of course we had to do it out in the big room too and so you know I just I just went, yeah, well, that, was, that was a neat little journey. <laughs> I get rid of this. And this one, you know, it, it, is, it is worse to clean this than take it apart than that. But my stepson likes it. It is kind of a fun little gun. It shoots very accurately. It will not handle uh, CCI, <laughs> mini bags. It just jams up on them. But you put the most worthless, cheapest crap... 22 ammunition you can find it goes right through it. Mexican ammo or you know the Winchester Wildcat goes right through it. And my stepson just you know he thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. So yeah, it is kind of a cool gun. If 
If it weren't so hard to clean, I'd really like it, and I'm sure it would have been a good seller. The downside on the thing is it weighs 95 ounces. For a gun that's under 30 inches to weigh 95 ounces, it's it's like you're carrying three 1022s. <laughs> but it's got some other things that, you know that are kind of neat. Um, you've got a rail you can put an optic on, and the back of the rail has the rear sight that pops up. And on the rear sight, you've got a, the rear sight is a wheel with little sights on it, and it goes in six settings. You can put it on setting one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And as you get up to the highest setting, the sight just slowly, slowly goes up. So you can raise the rear sight by turning the sight dial, which is, a, is six little sights in a dial. And that's kind of a neat idea. I like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's got... Again, a rail up front here, you can put a flashlight on, and a rail here to put a laser. And they actually made a laser that matched the gun with G2A2 on it, which we did we do not have. But they had one that matched the gun, which you know, by nowadays, nowadays standards is probably not a very good laser. <laughs> probably much better ones out there now, but they did make one to go with a gun. Um, you have these little ports here on both sides and of course we've got the bolt and the ejector on this side because right-handed use but if you want to go left-handed all you do is take this and reverse it and put the plugs over here and you got a left-handed bolt pump, which is kind of a neat idea but I I think that and this magazine back here is probably what's causing it to be so difficult to take apart and clean. They probably could have made it much easier to take apart and clean if they didn't do that. But I guess that's my only true complaint about the thing, is that it certainly is, shoots very accurately, and you, you can't complain about it chewing through cheap ammunition instead of having to use the expensive one. I just think it's funny. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a cheap date, you know? Kind of a neat little gun that hasn't been made for a while, and it didn't sell very well because it is a pain in the butt to take apart and clean. So, and it is kind of heavy. That's that's a real heavy gun. For the concept of the bull pup is that it be small and easier to maneuver. And when you start making it really heavy like that, it kind of kind of is a negative, I think. But it should be light also. But. Neat little gun though. I thought I'd share that with you today. So there you have it, Pards. The Walther G22. 22 long rifle. And uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Till next time, go out there and stay safe.